Hello children, welcome to the online classes once again. So uh, I'm going to take class for class third, and today we will learn English second. Okay, we will learn lesson six in English second. Okay, this is the name of the chapter Helen Keller. Okay, here you see word meanings are given here. Word meanings. You have to learn this word meanings and have to write in your copy these word meanings. Okay. So we will start the chapter now. This is about you know Helen Keller. You know who she was? She was a social reformer. Oh, she was a social reformer, and she has done lots for the society. So we will learn about her. Okay. We can see everything around us, can't we? But there are persons who can't see anything. They are blind. You think this? Those who are blind, they are not able to see anything. Okay, so we can hear the sound, can't we? We can hear the sound. Okay, but there are some persons. Okay, they can't hear any sound, so they are deaf. Those who are not able to hear any so sound, they are deaf. We see whenever we want, don't we? Whenever we want, we speak. Okay, but. There are people who can't speak anything, who are not able to speak anything from their mouth. They are dumb. Those who are not able to speak, they are dumb. You can see one who cannot speak, dumb. Deaf, one who cannot hear. Okay, so these are the word meanings. Okay, we speak means those who are not able to speak, they are dumb. So there was one American lady who was blind, deaf, and dumb. She was not able to speak, not able to see. Okay, okay, and not able to hear. So it was very difficult for her, and she was an American lady. Do you know who she was? She was Miss Helen Keller. Okay. She is, she was not able to see. She was not able to see anything. She was blind, okay, and she was not able to hear anything. So when she was a little child, she was normal. She was able to see, hear, and hear and talk. She was able to see, hear, and talk when she was small, when she was little child. But when she was twelve months old. When twelve months old, when she became twelve months old, she became very sick. This sickness made Helen Keller blind, deaf, and dumb. Because of this sickness, because of this severe sickness, she was not able to see, not able to hear any sound, and not able to see. Her parents took her to many good doctors. They tried their best. Okay, the doctors tried their best, but they couldn't cure her. She remained a blind, deaf, and dumb child. Okay, she remained blind, dumb, and deaf. Okay, the parents of Helen were worried. Her mother tried to teach her the language of deaf and dumb. They were worried about their child, and her mother always tried to. Teach her, okay, the language of deaf and dumb. But Helen couldn't learn much. But Helen was not able to learn much from her mother. She was naughty also. She was very naughty. When Helen was seven years old, a visitor came to their house. When she became seven years old, one visitor, a visitor came to their house. She was. Miss Ann Sullivan. She used to teach deaf, dumb children. Okay, Miss Sullivan was a good teacher. She was a very good teacher, and she understood Helen's difficulty. Whatever the problem Helen was facing, she understood. Who understood? Miss Sullivan, and she was a very good teacher. She sat down beside little Helen, and she sat down. Besides little Helen, she placed a doll in her hand and slowly spelled the word "dog." 
she placed a doll in her hand and slowly felt felt the word doll okay little halen soon became interested in this finger play she was very much happy and she was interested that what a nice play it is okay she was very much interested with this finger play by by touching the thing she could understand what it is understand no in a few days she could spell pen hat cup water and so on slowly she became to begin to speak the word slowly she began to speak the word okay later helen was sent to a school later she was sent to a school though blind deaf and dumb she began to study with patience uh, she was she was having a lot of problems she was blind dumb or deaf then also she had a patience and she studied she completed her school education very well with the patience now she realized that blind deaf and dumb could also study now when she completed her study school education then she come to know that yes those people those person who are having this problem those who are blind those who are deaf okay blind deaf okay and dumb they can also study they can also go ahead in their life now she got an inspiration okay then she went to college she was very popular and happy with all students and teachers after her study she decided to help the blind deaf and dumb children she understood the problem of blind deaf and dumb children after when she has completed her study she has decided to help the children those who are having such problems she opened a special special school for such children she opened a special school for such children those who have this problem everyone helped her in her effort this was a great effort which was uh, which was done by helen keller and everyone helped her she traveled far and wide and helped blind deaf and dumb children to study now there are many special schools for deaf and blind children people always remember helen keller for her work people always remember helen keller for her work and she was very much dedicated to do to do this social service okay and she got a success she got a success in her service okay it was a selfless service okay so very nice chapter hope you have understood this chapter very well so now we will do the exercise okay so we will do the exercise here as in your book here according to your book exercises are given first is fill in the uh, first true and false so we we'll do the this word means you have to write okay So we will do here exercise. Exercise first question. Okay, first question is what? This is true and false. So Helen Keller was an Indian. Okay, Helen Keller was an Indian. So I am only reading the question. Okay, and giving this giving answers here. So you please note it down. First, Helen Keller was an Indian. No, no. What she was? She was an American. Okay, it is already given here, no, in the beginning. American lady, so it is four. Second, when Helen was a little child, she was normal. When she was little child, she was normal. Correct. True. Miss Anne Sullivan used to teach deaf and dumb children. Correct. This is also true. Now. Slowly, Helen Keller began to speak the word. 
okay true okay now we will do the fill in the blank fill up complete the following statement so this is the question number 2 according to your book okay the blind person that can see every thing now second one when may talent to them Helen Keller was a dash little child. Okay, little child. She was normal. Normal. Okay. Now, see. Miss Sullivan Miss Sullivan was a very good teacher Okay now last one she was very She was very that popular, popular. Okay, very popular with popular with all people children and teacher okay teacher now we'll do the question ask okay I'm only reading the questions, and I'll write the answers here. You have to note it down, the answer. Okay. So here are the questions. Huh? First question: What happened to Helen Keller when she was 12 months old? Okay, this is a question and answer. You see here, answer. Question answer. No. This is question answer part. No. This is a uh, uh, question number three according to your book. So answer here.
now second question second question who visited her house when helen was 7 years old okay when helen was 7 years old who visited her house so you write me miss sullivan no Miss Anne Sullivan visited visited her house when when Helen was seven. Seven years old. Okay. Now next question. What is the next question? Yeah. Ah, how did Miss Sullivan start teaching Helen? So. by dance Okay. Now the next question. What is the next question? Hmm. What did Helen do for blind, deaf, and dumb children? So answer you right. Why do people remember Helen Keller? Why don't you?
No question answers are completed. One more exercise I'll do for you and that's other you have to do. Okay. Question four is given according to your book. Question number four. Fill in the blanks with the correct degree of comparison. Okay. So simply I'll just write the answers. I'll read the questions in front of you and I'll write the answers. So Manish is a dash of all the three boys. Manish is the dash of all the three boys. Dash. What do you have to do in this? Fill the blanks with the correct degree of comparison. Correct degree of comparison. Comparison, okay? So first, question number four. No? This is according to your book, fill the blanks. No? Fill in the blanks. With the correct degree of comparison. Okay. So first one. Manish is the dad. So first one is first is blank strongest. Okay. Strongest. Now, second. The fourth story building is dash than the three story building. Higher. Okay. Now, the elephant is the dash land animal. The largest. Largest. Okay. Now, last one. Mango is dash than orange. So, you have to do a comparison. No. Sweeter. Okay. Sweeter. Okay. Sweeter. So, you have to write this in your, this exercises in your book. Okay. Now, Hope you have understood this chapter very well. Okay. And you have to complete the question answers what I have what I have given here now. And word meanings you have to learn also. These all exercises you have to do by your own. Okay. Means in your copy you have to do. One more is there. Fill A and the in the following. Question number five. One more question will do, then so. Only one exercise will be left. You can do it by your own. Okay. It's very simple. So fill in the blanks with this, with this question number 5 according to your book. Okay. So uh, with this, this is fill A and the in the following. Okay. Now, See, like this, it is written there. Is dash it is given. There is a fan. Okay, then dash umbrella and umbrella. Okay, and umbrella and dash a bag. Okay, on the table. Okay, then full stop is given here, no? So you have to write the capital, the pen is blue, comma. Okay, the pen is blue, comma, and here again blank is given and umbrella. is red. Okay. And 
the bag is black okay so this exercise you have to complete now everything is over only one exercise a one question is left okay that is question number 6 put the vowels double e or e a to make correct word this is a question okay and uh, here five are given blanks are given in between some uh, blanks are left in between some words some alphabets are missing you have to use this alphabet okay and you have to make a word complete word okay so this is the question number 6 and you have to do in your book okay by your own so hope you have understood this chapter very well learn this chapter and please do the exercises and question answers okay thank you